So let's take a look at how you can use shape painter object in GDevelop. So what we will do is we'll first go to gdevelop-amp.com then download the installer and once you install and run this it should look something like this with your default project. So no object over here. Only thing I have done is I have added one scene which is a main scene. Okay. So next thing I'll be adding an object. So here you can see shape and object. Simply add that. Let's name this shape. Okay. Now here we will choose a fill color. So outline will be with this color. Okay. That you can change as well. Now fill color. Let's change this to let's say something like this purple. Right. Now apply this and then drop this object named shape over here right now what we'll do is we will go to the events and next thing we will try to add an action associated with this particular shape object so we select that and then scroll down for drawing so here we want to draw let's say something like rectangle now we have to check the position so let's say if I start from 0 then 0 and then go with 100 100 right now if I click OK and save it let's go back here and preview the change and here you see your rectangle with that particular fill color and outline and it will be placed in the coordinates that we mentioned okay similarly we can add different other shapes as well so we'll go to add actions select our object then choose something different so this time let's see if I choose a circle then I have to choose let's say 100 position then 100 radius should be something small like let's say 30 for a smaller circle click OK now save this and check the preview and here you see it gets a little bit closer to our existing rectangle and it is with the specified radius we have which is 30 and also on 100, 100 position for x and y coordinate okay so you get the idea how to use shape painter for drawing the objects like this rectangle circle and you can also go with other such as this line then star or arc or ellipse as well so let's go with one more this time a bit fancy you can go with star if you want or if you want something simple go with the line simply start position x1 y1 and x2 y2 okay you can also specify the thickness similarly you can also go for arc where you have x y position radius then start angle of arc right and end angle apart from that you can also set anti-clockwise or clockwise and close the path if you want to for that particular arc so if you are into drawing various type of objects on screen for your game then this is something you should look into okay so if we check the preview again you can see that you get to specify where you want this particular shape painter object okay which allowed you to draw rectangle and circle on screen using your gdevelop